Look at this tree. Look at that. Eek. <laughs> it's a bit muddy down here. Now that is a fine specimen. It's an interesting looking little murder house, isn't it? You just never know, do you? You never know when one might just... You know what? I'm going to ram that baldy human. I can't go around the side. It's too muddy. How deep is it? 3000 BC. Oh, you're lovely. Hello, dog. How you doing? So you can kind of see the platform edge here, look. Once was. Ooh, that must be getting quite a few people nervous. It's so busy. Oh, the smells down here are unbelievable. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Today, we're going to go and have a look at three world-class views, a 5,000-year-old stone circle, one of the oldest in Britain, and then we're going to go and have a look at the place where the world's first pencil was made. Let's have a wander through Keswick. What a gorgeous house that is. Now, I said we're going to go through Keswick, but actually, the first part of this walk is through the countryside, and we're heading down towards Dirt Water here. As you can see, we're going to check it out. It's flipping gorgeous. And then we're going to head on to Friars Crag, over to Castle Head, then circle back round to Castle Rig Stone Circle, and then eventually head back into town where we'll go and reach around some shops, go and have a look at the food establishments. There's a market on today as well, I think, so that could be quite interesting. And uh, yeah, maybe go and get a pint or maybe coffee, I don't know. But yeah, look at this, it's, it's absolutely stunning. All right, here we are at the Derwent Water Jetties. Very popular place with tourists, and later on today, this will be absolutely jam-packed. It will be a move for bodies. So you can imagine what it's like on a calm day with the launches here, and you've got cat bells there in the background. Absolutely beautiful. And we've got some ducks here as well. <laughs> Gorgeous. So we're going to walk in that direction now towards Friars Crag, and uh, yeah, just keep on looking at all this beautiful scenery. So these launches here crisscross all over Derwent. So what you can do, and I might do this one day, is do a walk all the way around the edge of Derwent water. And if you get a bit tired along the way, what you can do is just jump on one of the launches and come straight back to Keswick. It's really good. But I'll probably say that for a day when my foot has healed. So the whole point of doing these flat, low-level walks at the moment, like Ambleside last week, is because of my injured foot. So it's supposed to be a short walk. However, today, <laughs> turns out this is 10 kilometers, around about six miles. Um, a little bit further than I thought it would be. But there's no way you can come to Keswick and not go and have a look at the things that we're going to have a look at today. It's, I'd just be wrong. I'm hoping very soon, I know some of you are quite irritated by the fact that I'm not up in the hills. And trust me when I say this, so am I. I can't wait to get back out, but it's just the way it is. But it will be out soon. Anyway, enough of all that. Let's get to Friars Crag and check out that first incredible view. Okay, here we are, just approaching Friars Crag. Doesn't take long at all, about five to seven minutes from the jetties there. Honestly, so quick and you get this view, wait for this. How is that for an absolutely mind-blowingly gorgeous view? And what a place to sit and enjoy it. You'd be lucky to get this place quiet though and no one else here because like I said, later on, this is gonna be very busy with people and you'd be lucky if you can sit here. <laughs> so you've got to get here early. But it's worth it, look at it. Absolutely beautiful. I love these Scots pines as well. It's looking wild though, isn't it? Look how choppy that is. And it is quite windy. In fact, it's a lot windier than it was forecast to be. And there's a bit of rain as well, which there shouldn't be. That was not forecast, so I'm a little bit, little bit worried because I've got jeans on again. I'm in full tourist mode. So <laughs> lovely, wasn't it? Look, Walla Crag there. Looking all the way down to King's Howe. Got the jaws of Borrowdale there, so you can see Castle Crag as well. And then here you've got uh, Cat Bells and Mid Moor and everything else. All in the cloud, 
all clanked in. What we're going to do now is head over to Castle Head, which is kind of over there in that direction behind the trees, and uh, go and check out the second world-class view that's definitely worth coming to have a look at if you come to Keswick. Wow, it's like being on the beach somewhere. I would say the Caribbean, but it looks nothing like the Caribbean. Things are definitely changing though. You can see the leaves on the trees and you'll see it a little bit more when we get back into town later on. All the leaves are changing. We're going into autumn now, but it, it's, it's still quite warm. It's weird. It's very mild at the moment and it's very deceptive. So you kind of, you don't really know what to wear. It's, also got a, it's that season where you don't know what to wear. You know, do I take a coat, do I not take a coat, do I wear shorts, do I wear... They don't wear jeans, that's ridiculous, but, you know, so choppy. And it's very high at the moment, look at it. Much higher than usual. So much so that actually the path has gone, so normally you'd walk along here, along the shoreline, and you can see where the path carries on, but yeah, there's no way I'm getting through that, so... I'm gonna have to have a little wander up here. In fact, I might actually just cut straight across because that's where we're going, that lump there. The question is, can I realistically get over to the path there? Hey, here it is. <laughs> I don't think I can. I'm gonna have to go back onto the main path again and go around because as you well know, this long grass here is Swampsville. I'll definitely think, look at this tree, look at that. Wow! This is definitely one of the most impressive petrified trees I've ever seen. I love the way all the thin branches have gone. They've all dropped off and rotten away. And you're left with these thicker branches. I love the colours and the patterns on the actual trunk and the branches themselves. I don't want to get under it because sod's law, a bit will break off and land on my head. <laughs> but yeah, very impressive indeed. That'll be gone probably in a few years time. So if you are a photographer and you fancy it, yeah, get here. Right, let's get across this little bridge here and onto the path that we want without having to get wet feet. Which is always a bonus. This is a lovely orc, isn't it? So if you were to head round the edge of Derwent, doing that full loop, you'd go down this way here, through that gate, and then on that way. But we are going to go this way today. Like I said, up to Castlehead which is there. Just want to say a massive thank you to all of you who uh, commented on that last video, the Ambleside one, giving suggestions about places to go and visit on these uh, lower level a wander through um, videos. Quite a lot of suggestions for Keswick, so it kind of makes sense to come and do that now. But I've made a list of all the other places, I've got a spreadsheet with them on, and eventually over time I'll we'll get around to doing all of those, some interesting ones as well, and some interesting non-UK based ones as well, so I'm super excited about those. But if you've got any other ideas, please drop them in the comments below, because yeah, I'll be interested to know. Hey Herdy. Oh, it's so nice to see Herdy's this low down. A bit raggedy looking. <laughs> okay, this is Cockshot Wood. Some interesting names in the Lake District, isn't there? <laughs> Eek. It's a bit muddy down here. I think it's just this beginning section. You might not want to wear jeans. So we're getting a, a view of Dodd there. And Skidder is way up in the clouds there. It'll be pretty damn grim up there at the moment, I think. <laughs> but still. I won't mind it. I won't mind a little bit of grimness. I mean, don't get me wrong, I am enjoying these low level walks and I know that you guys are as well, but I'm just desperate to get back in the fells. Okay, crossing the main road now that takes you down to Borrowdale that way. Not far along there is actually the car park, so. If you wanted to bail, you could just bomb it down that way. 
But we don't want to do that. We're going up here, into the woods, up onto Castle Head, and view number two. Let's go and have a look this way. Okay, almost there. And it only takes about five minutes to get to the top, but you are rewarded with these kind of views. I think they'll agree, definitely worth that little bit of effort, a little bit of sweating, and it is literally five minutes, it's not anything. So you can see now, Friars Crag is down there, and we came along that path and along here and up, beautiful. And we're getting a first glimpse of Keswick and Bathamthwaite as well. Probably can't see it on here, but take my word for it, <laughs> it's there. And, dare I say it, the sun is trying to shine. I'm excited. Just need to be really careful on this rock though, it's totally polished and treacherous, honestly. You end up falling and really hurting yourself. But, I've got this little thing here as well, which might be handy if you want to identify what you're looking at. So you can see there's an outline of Derwent there, and you've got all the different fells. So this is like a much simpler way to get a slightly elevated view than Waller Crag. I mean, Waller Crag isn't exactly difficult, but it's a bit, about half an hour up, you know, where the views are spectacular. And if you haven't seen my video on that already, go and check it out. It's called uh, Infinite Swamp of Despair, I think, something like that. <laughs> And yeah, you, you get a fantastic view looking down onto Derwent. But this isn't bad. This, I mean, this is, like I said, world class. World class view, number two. So, let's go and head on back down and round to the third world class view, which is also the site of the Stone Circle. Let's go. Ooh. <laughs> Nearly. More mud. How am I gonna do this? Well, this is pretty bad. Whew. Okay, if you are gonna do this walk, don't be an idiot like me and wear jeans and even trainers. I mean, these are walking shoes, but still, look at the state of them and look at the state of my jeans. It's okay. It's only a bit of mud. It all washes off. So we're now entering a bit that I've never actually walked along. I've never been around here ever in my entire life. So again, the lesser spotted Keswick. Ooh. I see that looks very inviting there, that little ginnel. But, we're going that way. Oh, it's kind of tempting, isn't it? No, we're going that way. <laughs> Actually, no, we are gonna head up this way because it brings you out on the same road anyway, so let's go and have a look. Ooh. Oh, wow. It's like a little maze. <laughs> Nice house. Modern, but I like it. So that's where we were a minute ago, up on Castle Head. So it doesn't take long at all to get here. About 10 minutes or so. Got a long way to go. It's lovely though, isn't it? Look at it. These cute little streets. I'm kind of tempted to go up there now, but I mustn't, I must resist. And instead, I'll enjoy this view back towards Cat Bells. Oh, look at that. Now that is a fine specimen. Couple of bulls. You can tell the bulls because they've got quite a lot hanging down at the back there. Very nice. It's an interesting looking little murder house, isn't it? <laughs> Once again, it's got to be bodies in there somewhere. Okay, this is Springs Wood, and it's only a short bit. And then we end up coming out into Castle Rig itself. Castle Rig, the hamlet farm, not the stone circle, that's a bit further along. 
It's very beautiful in here. This is Brockle Beck, and it's running straight down from Bleabury Fell, would you believe it? The sound of it, oh, it's just mesmerising. So as beautiful as this bridge is, we don't actually come across it. We're going to be heading off in that direction there. So we've come up here along Brocklebeck. You'll be able to see it in a minute. And we do a hairpin bend there off to the right. But definitely worth coming and have a look because look at this gorgeous. Such a picturesque place, isn't it? And you know what? I've only seen a handful of people so far. It will get a bit busier later on because it is... Saturday, but still, you know, get here early enough you can have the whole place to yourself. So that's where I came up, and we're going to go along here. Oh, that's nice looking back. So, probably around about the same height as Castle Head now, just there. Oh, this is gorgeous. Look at it. I opened the gate and it hasn't even got a, a bar on it. Morning. It's like three Swaledale tops. I absolutely do not want to be top fodder. <laughs> you just never know, do you? You never know when one might just... You know what? I'm going to ram that baldy human. Look at this. This is a beautiful little path. And I love that tree. Yeah, it's hard work walking down that little trench there. And coming up here, I can now see Castle Rig campsite. Quite empty, actually, isn't it? But wow, look at this. I mean, you've got this tree here and this stump. So these were probably twins once upon a time, these two here. This is an oak. Probably an oak. Oh, what a shame. You lost your little brother or sister. Beautiful, lovely, lovely tree. If you weren't here, I'd be hugging it by now. Skid is completely clagged in. I don't think that'll clear at all today. I'd be miserable. <laughs> and same goes for Helvellyn as well. The Dodds and that northern Helvellyn massive. A little bit concerned because there's a horse in this field up here, and I do not like horses. It's not that I don't like them. It's just. I'm a bit freaked out by them, you know, big animal. Please do not feed the horses. The thing is, I'm more worried about the horse feeding on me. Hey, horsey. You see, I like that horse because it was just concentrating on its food, not interested in me. It's the ones that kind of stand there and look at you, you know, eyeballing. The problem is, I was too busy looking at the horse and worrying about getting trampled under hoof that I just stubbed me flipping toe, the bad one. And it's really hurting now, damn it. Right, I need to get my bearings because at some point, uh, I think I'm going down this way actually, yeah, heading down towards the, the road. But I need to check the map. Yep, this is the right way. And I'm heading down to the A591 and we'll cross that. That's the road from Grasmere to Keswick. Looking like it's trying to clear over Helvellyn. Trying to, it might do, you know, you never know. One thing I do know of a definite is right here out of the wind, there's a lot of midges um, and flies and stuff. Like, probably because of this guy here. I don't know, is that a bull? It kind of looks like it's got a bull's head. It's certainly got a lot of muscle around its shoulders, but I don't know. They all look big this close up. <laughs> Oh heck, 
Look at this. <laughs> this is what you get when you don't wear appropriate footwear and leg wear. Eek. I'm kind of hoping I can just step across these and then not get too muddy. Trouble is, I'm gonna get snagged on this barbed wire as well. I think I've actually done it. Wow. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, damn it. <laughs> this tree is so low. <sighs> oh, this is not easy. <laughs> I'm liking this little avenue of trees. Very nice. You can imagine this is where the sheep would probably lie in the winter with the shelter. Heck, this is a nice looking tree here. This big one. Okay, this is the A591. Straight across and straight up this track. Damn it. Another giant puddle to navigate. I can't go around the side. It's too muddy. How deep is it? Is it going to go over me? Shoes. <laughs> it's not too bad, actually. Uh, straight through, I like it. <laughs> This is Castle Lane, and it leads us all the way to Castle Rigstone Circle itself. And it's at this point that we're round about halfway on the walk. So it's literally all downhill from here. <laughs> so that's Castle Rig Stone Circle. This is Castle Lane. A Castle Rig farm back there in Castle Rig, the hamlet. Rig meaning ridge, and it is definitely a ridge here. You can see it's a ridge. Where's the castle? Was there a castle here once upon a time? I don't know. This is the kind of information I should be giving you. <laughs> I should do my research before I do these videos, but yeah, I failed on that one. In fact, it just dawned on me now as I was walking down here thinking, mm, everything's named Castle around here. Okay, here we are at Castle Rig Stone Circle, which is also the site of the third and final epic view of today. I'll just get round to the side so you can see it. Some druids in the middle, look. There you go. Third and arguably the most epic view today. Look at it. Let's see if I have a little wander over here. We can check out this view. And like I say in a lot of my videos, it is much more impressive when you're here in real life because all this lot is much closer. We've got Clough Head there, all the way along to the Dodds, up in the clouds, and that goes on to Helvellyn. We've got High Rig here. So if you cast your mind back to the first episode of Hiking the Wayne Rights, that was up there. In the middle there is Great Dodd, tiny little thing, and then it goes up to the Ben and Ravencrag. We can kind of see down where Thirlmere is as well there. We've got Latrig here, Skidder, Blencathra. And you can get this view with almost no effort whatsoever. You can park up just over there. You don't have to do the walk that I've done today, although I'd recommend it because it is nice. It's a nice walk in and you don't have to worry about getting a space here because there's not a lot of space. You have to get here early, but you can, you can park there. Been eyeballed, always been eyeballed. He's really, that looks like an old one. Yeah, it's a little wander around the actual stone circle itself. Those people have moved off now. They're on a private tour, so I didn't want to interrupt really. So we'll have a little wander around and try and figure out what the hell it is. I don't actually know what it is. Well, they do, they know it was a structure of some kind, a building. One of the biggest ones in Britain. 
and probably the most frequented this and Stonehenge obviously Stonehenge is a little bit more impressive and well known but still this is pretty good so through the doorway some kind of inner chamber 3000 BC so pretty damn old So in last week's Ambleside video, I was in awe of the fact that I was walking in the footsteps of Romans 2,000 years ago. But today, it's a Neolithic man 5,000 years ago. Definitely worth a visit if you're in the Keswick area. Get yourselves up here. Okay, the whole point of this is supposed to be a wander through Keswick. And so far all I've done is wander around the outside of it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head directly back into the town and have a wander through the streets and see what we can see. Go and check out that market. Lands. Okay. Now heading on to the old railway line that used to run from Keswick to Penrith. And it's been turned into a, a footpath which leads all the way up to Threlkeld. It's lovely. Let's check it out. Hello, dog. Oh, hello. You can say hello. Yeah. Oh, you're lovely. <laughs> now, one thing a lot of you probably don't know, because I've never done it on the channel, kind of done it a little bit on Instagram a long time ago, but I rollerblade. <laughs> I'm an old guy and I rollerblade, and I've been meaning to come here for years because it's all been resurfaced. I wish they'd do this on the prom near me. But it's all been resurfaced. It'd be perfect to go rollerblading. I might come and do it. Question is, would you be interested in a video in that? If not, I won't do it. I won't film it. I'll just do it. I'll just skate. Let me know in the comments. Another dog. Hello, dog. How are you doing? <laughs> I don't think Keswick's a very happy place. I've not seen anybody smile yet. Just miserable people everywhere. What's going on? It's quite the view, isn't it? This is the River Greta. I think if I do come and skate here, it will definitely not be at this time of year. So like I said, this is the old railway line. And we're now approaching what used to be the old station, Keswick Station. So you can kind of see the platform edge here, look. What once was. <sighs> Okay, this is Fitz Park, and I'm now making a beeline towards the birthplace of pencils. Should be very exciting. I'm excited. And it should get significantly busier from now on. Just watch the crowds. That water's looking very high. Wow. That must be getting quite a few people nervous, the height of that. Because when it floods, it really floods here. Look at it.
Is there a greater sound than the wind going through silver birch leaves? Absolutely beautiful. I think it is my favourite sound. Or well, certainly one of them. Okay, here we are at the Pencil Museum. Very excited. How did he get in? This right here is the largest pencil in the world. It's nearly eight meters in length and weighs a whopping 446 kilos. Oh, I loved it. That was so much fun. And yes, I am a bit of a geek. Uh, I used to be drawing a lot, I used to do a lot of it um, when I had time, don't have time anymore. But yeah, that was kind of like, um, I don't know, like a step back into my childhood really, when I used to do a lot of drawing, all those pencils and sketch pads and all that kind of stuff. Brilliant, love it. Definitely worth a visit. Anyway, I'm going to go and use the facilities. Whew, I needed that. <laughs> right, let's get um, into town and have a look around that market and have a look at some of the shops and see what kind of food's on offer as well. Don't know how to buy any, I might, might just look, might just window shop. Probably won't though, probably will buy. Get across here. Um, here we go. Oh, you see this group there? They're a pound of box. What? So busy. some flipping nice smells in there as well. Lots of garlic. But let's go and have a look in George Fisher. Windermere. Windermere. What have we got here? And them lodges cost Brilliant, thank you very much. Thank you, see ya. Oh yeah, nice jacket. <laughs> oh, the smells down here are unbelievable. It's garlic. 
Now, do I want something to eat or not? All these people drive me a little bit crazy. I don't know what to do. I kind of want to have a drink, but maybe something to eat, but it's so busy here. I'm going to try and find somewhere out of town, perhaps to go and get some lunch and a beer. Look. <laughs> it's so busy. It's too many people. Too many people. Okay, I've had a brainwave. I'm going to go to a place that is quite familiar on the Hiking Away and Right series and a little bit of a favourite of mine when I've been heading back. Let's go and have a look. Okay, I know by rights I should really have had a drink and some food in Keswick, but it just got really crazy there, really, really busy. I mean, it's it's Saturday, it's obviously market day as well. Don't get me wrong, I do like people. <laughs> I'm just a, not a massive fan of big crowds and that kind of, you know, craziness. That's why I spend a lot of time up in the fells, away from the crowds. So I've come here, you probably recognise it if you've watched the Hiking the Way and Rights um, episodes. I've come here for a few quite a few times actually. Uh, I just want to say before I go in, thanks so much for watching. You know, I really do appreciate you spending your precious time watching these videos. So it doesn't go unnoticed. It is greatly appreciated. You are appreciated. And um, yeah, hopefully you can join me on uh, another walk very soon, whether it's up in the hills or I'm hoping not in another town. In fact, I'm hoping the next video is a camping video at the very least. If not, it's going to be hiking away rides. I don't know. It's going to be something away from humanity though. I'm quite excited about that. Don't go yet. Come and join me inside the pub. We'll have uh, a pint, maybe get some food. I'll look at the menu, see what's going on. Come on, let's go. Oh, I'll have a pint of shit in the ass, please. <laughs> 